Uh, they worshipped frogs. They worshipped birds. They worshipped the water. They worshipped the Nile River. They worshipped plants. They worshipped trees. You know, you name it, they worshipped it. They thought it was some kind of a god. <laughs> So the Lord, in His plagues, afflicted them with the very thing they worshipped. He was effectively saying, hey, you guys want a worship service? I'll lay some frogs on you. Worship away. And there are frogs everywhere. Frogs in their bed. Frogs in their ovens. Frogs on the floor. Frogs, you name it. There was a frog there. Go to sleep at night. Good night, honey. Grab it. You know. So He kind of mocked them in that way. He was showing them the futility of that which they did. Sometimes God will let us see that too. You know, we have our God. We don't call it a God. But it's what we trust in. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a bank account. Maybe it's a career. Maybe it's in our appearance. Maybe it's in something else. That's our identity. That's who we are. That's what we're all about. And then one day something happens and we're not all that anymore. You know, that there's something happens and we lose that money that was in that account. Something happens and we lose that position. 